Now, going over to the political part of the podcast, you have Vivek statement on removing Mitch McConnell as Mitch McConnell is, as NSYNC would say, bye, 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 which that certainly ages me since I don't think NSYNC has been a thing since 1993 or 94 or something to that effect. There's a thing back in the day that was famously known as boy bands where they might not have a modicum of, of talent in terms of playing an instrument, but they were relatively, as I think as the ladies would call them, handsome. Or I think another word is heartthrob. I do look up some... There needs to be a millennial or like an old school urban dictionary or like a millennial dictionary. Some of that, another thought for another time. But frosted hair, you know, frosted tips hair was very popular as well. And the fashion was, of course, in hindsight, always notorious. There's some things that never go out of fashion, like wearing a good suit, as all men always should, obviously. Now, that being said, Mitch McConnell has appeared to be gone. He's known for being kind of a more traditional GOP, and then of course, you know, letting them people down time time again, not doing the not doing the things that you would ascribe to Republican ideologies or Republican ideas. So that's one of the things where yeah, he's probably done a good a couple of good things, a couple of bad things, and lately his health has been deteriorating worse than most politicians, which is saying something because most of them aren't healthy to begin with. Famously he had that moment where he just kind of had a brain fart on TV where he kind of just zoned out and people are still trying to talk to him and his friends or handlers had to actually you know walk him away and again he's quite old in age it unfortunately happens to damn near everyone as they get towards the end of their lifespan but think as we're seeing more and more people in politics and uh, having more people kind of rotate out and have some new talent in there's a lot of people who are excited. Now, Vivek actually said, onward to the future, quote unquote, in response to this. And he had a little pic, he was actually reposting or responding to himself where he had, you know, Rana, as in Ron McDaniel. And he said, next up, next up rather, Mitch, it's time. And that's from February 8th, actually. And the Rana McDaniel had a little check mark and she was famously, I would say the mentally vacuous or just inept leader of the GOP where, again, they lost time and time again. And yet she didn't change any methodologies. She just continued to lose for the party and the funding was at all time low. I suspect partially because she was at the helm and really not inspiring people to, you know, give them money at all. Cause even in the rare instances where they were winning, they wouldn't vote the way people wanted them to. So why would you donate to them? So I think there are many reasons why the Republican party has had an all time low for funding, which again, you need funding to win elections. It's part of the whole marketing shtick of having commercials, advertisements, everything costs money in politics. Now, Again, as youth might say, I went pretty viral, getting 850,000 views and 25,000 likes. And I suspect there might be a couple of old school GOP members who appreciate Mitch's overall service and might not agree with him stepping down and going getting out of politics. But I think a lot of people in the middle and on the right are probably going to say it's beyond his time. Because again, he has had cognitive decline and he's not the same man he used to be. Clearly, he's he's been struggling. Now, going to the top comments, you have Paul Zuzupa saying, quote, you're one step closer to excellence and peace, unquote, getting 39 likes. Tim Conrad said, quote, keep up the pressure to have McDaniel resign his leadership tomorrow, not later in the year. I think this job is only 50% done. Otherwise, nice job, unquote, getting 22 likes. Tired of being politically correct, said, quote, Susan Collins, Murkowski, Schumer, Nadler, and the list is endless, unquote, getting 59 likes. Mike Suzrupa says, quote, Vivek speaking truth yet again, unquote, getting 55 likes. Nomad News says, next up, Nikki Haley, unquote, getting 72 likes. Scrolling down, you got 2024 War Room saying, quote, quote, thank you, Vivek. Who's up next, unquote, getting 23 likes. <laughs> News Nomad saying, quote, Nostradamus didn't, doesn't miss, unquote, getting 48 likes. Interestingly enough, NWI Patriots says, has a picture of Rand Paul on a cover of Times Magazine and it says, the most interesting man in politics, the reinventors of Rand Paul, unquote. And they got 48 likes, which, again, someone who's kind of traditionally libertarian or I like I like less government, not more. I, Rand's done a lot of great things. I wish there were more resources and more options for a third-party ticket in the U.S., but unfortunately, it's become a uniparty system where a lot of people might argue you just have the illusion of choice. You don't really have a choice because, especially because there's so many rhinos, which is... But, pejoratively known as Republicans in name only, where, oh yeah, they say the Republicans are on the ballot, but then when they get elected, they just vote with the ideals of Democrats, which again, if I wanted that, then I'd vote for that, which is why sometimes I just vote for the Libertarians and the people in the middle. 
Scrolling down, you also have Patriot Rose said, quote, the great reset gets looks a little different than I expected. Unquote, getting nine likes. Murray Tamo says, quote, he did today, only today, when Hunter is testified, and coincidentally, unquote, getting six likes. Let's see here. Andrew says, quote, only about three dozen more Republicans need to resign, unquote, getting six likes. Deep AX says, quote, we are draining the swap, unquote, getting nine likes. I'm not seeing a lot of Mitch fans, but let's keep going. Maybe, maybe this one. Man with a brain says, quote, dude, are you previewed to the Simpsons writer? You have been ahead of these news stories by months. Unquote, getting 11 likes. Aaron Pitt simply says, it's time getting three likes. House Jet Automotive says, now dude, Lindsey Graham. Unquote, getting five likes. Oh, somewhat of a contrarian statement. If I can dream a better life, says get Trump out, and I would agree, unquote, getting one like. Let's see here. Michael Urban said long over two, getting one like, and very many comments similar to that sentiment. So interestingly enough, not a single, oh, I'm trying to see if there's a single person that says, we'll miss you, Mitch, or you did a lot of great things, or, you know, you did so much good, or something to that effect. I, I'm not seeing it, and truth be told, I am scrolling down quite a bit. There's one contrarian statement in terms of critiquing Vivek. Oh, let's see here. Oh, no, here's two. All right, so Wonk Maga, or Wonka Maga, says, quote, Then you, Vivek, Big Pharma Scammer, getting one like. Someone by name of Caring, Blue Heart, American Flag, Rainbow, Peace Sign, Emoji, says, quote, The future is the Democrats winning back the House in 2024, increasing the majority of Senate, and re-electing President Biden, we already got you out of the way, which really isn't a big deal, unquote. Now, granted, that is mostly mentally vacuous, but they did get one like, and I say that it's especially mentally vacuous because they say their profile is caring. Oh, the, the profile actual hashtag or the at symbol is caringguy1957. Now, he says he's caring, and he has a peace sign, and yet he's voting for people who increase the war across the globe. So do you really like peace? You're spending hundreds of billions of dollars to promote war and not come to a peace agreement. Interesting. Although a lot of people say if it wasn't for hypocrisy, some people wouldn't have any standards at all. So I, sc I scrolled a little bit more and a couple of people attacking Trump, a couple of people going after Vivek, but no one really, not a single word of someone saying, I'll miss you, Mitch. So I guess, again, given the current situation of his health, and the evolution of GOP. I don't think many people are surprised. It wasn't a matter of if, it was just a matter of when. So let me know, do you think the GOP will be better off or more strategic now that he is gone? Do you think it'll be an overall net benefit to the GOP or could it be an impediment to actually hurt the party? As usual, it'll be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a comment, it's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.